violence to end violence. A sponsorship deal that I did in 2013, I advertised a product to 10,000 viewers every day. Three shout outs a day for a month. And it was a pretty cool product and I did a pretty damn good job of making it look hog as to my, my viewers. I got paid about $700 for that. And if you were to do the same thing now, three shout outs a day, one month, 10,000 viewer average, you would be getting paid in the realm of like 50 to 100k. You would be getting paid like two to three thousand dollars every single day you did it. I got paid seven hundred dollars for that eight years ago. I think that if you like a streamer, feel free to like listen to them talk about their their sponsored products, like how you can get G Fuel 30% off using promo code BOXBOX and that code literally expires today. Right? If you like me, feel free to like listen to me talk about my sponsored product. Hell yeah. That guy wants to know how much do I think Tyler One makes? I would put him on the range of like 100 to 200k per per month. Anyway, let me take this opportunity to spin it in a more positive note. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching my stream. It is because you guys choose to watch my stream over some other person. It is because of you guys that I can continue doing this for a living. Again, I still think it's nuts that I have the opportunity to do this, but I appreciate the opportunity. I will do my best to be a reasonable combination of sellout and good content. Level up! Okay. I had to kill the cannon minion to level up to survive that. Oh god, I talked for so long, I forgot to play the ad break. Oh, hello Shylex. Hey Albert the first have been watching you for the 1.5 years I've been playing League and always enjoyed the mechanical champs like Riven I found out you had ADHD a year later was interesting because I also have ADHD. Wait wait hang so on hang on. A lot of I'm actually I'm no cap I'm right about, I'm right about to kill her. I'm right about to kill her. Sorry sorry I had to focus. I was doing math. She didn't know I was about to level up, so I was trying my hardest to kill minions and then go in. She also has no flash, because she prioritized ignite. So then that gives me a window to kill her. Boxworks, I was interested because I also have ACDC. Yes, ACDC sucks. I think that ADHD is something that streamers kind of have to have, because the kinds of streamers that are funny are the ones that are very ADHD. The ones that can bounce from topic to topic are hilarious. Or more like, the ones who can, in the middle of a conversation, think of something really funny, like outside from an, an unexpected twist, those streamers are the ones that like pull massive numbers or like pull, uh, create the most memorable moments, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this played. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try for Scuttlecrab since Shinjo's over there. There's a lot of streamers that are really good at like rehashing like old jokes, if that makes sense. Like they retell a joke and they just like tell it in a, an entertaining way. A lot of my jokes are recycled. I'll tell you guys that right now. I know that might shock you, but I do repeat jokes. If you, if you watch my stream a lot, you'll probably hear the same joke like 20 times. Especially that one about the stopwatch. Oh, it's so funny. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Anyway, not on my watch. Oh, another streamer that I really like. Uh, I mean, this guy's pretty well known. Oh wait, hang on.
Wait, were they not able to kill? Sorry. Wait, I can't believe they survived that. I, I could have thrown my wind slash backwards, but I was like, oh, he probably doesn't want me to steal the kill. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, did you see that? I stood on the Thresh's body so that Shinja targeted me instead. Oh, I'm too thick. God, my thighs are nuts. If I were to do what I think would get me the most money, I would probably take about twice as many sponsors as I do now. I would cosplay a lot more. Like every every like three months, I'd probably have a cosplay lined up. I, I actually have one planned for coming up pretty soon, but it's been, it's, I think it's been over a year since my last cosplay. So I feel like it is now an acceptable time to do one. Uh, I'm not joking, I actually just kill her. Hmm. Okay, I misplayed. Oh, Kale is here. Fuck, I misplayed that. I should have just like flashed after her immediately. What is your take on streamers getting sponsored by gambling sites? Uh, I think that it is spreading a bad message, but as someone who has been offered a lot of money to stream gambling, I can also see why some people take the offer. Wait, I can't believe I actually killed someone. Aw oh, man, I gave a thousand gold to Camille. That's bad. It, I traded 950 gold for uh, 300. Play poker? No, even poker has bad odds because the casino takes like a 10% cut or something like that, or 5% rake or whatever. So like every hand you win. And don't get me wrong, I've been sponsored by a poker website before. I like online poker. Wait, hang on, don't, don't let me die here. I like online poker. I just wouldn't do it regularly because unless you're amazing at the game, the 10% rake is like massive. Or is it 5%? Probably different per casino. The streamers that I find like incredibly funny, I. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you my list. These are people that I, I, just, I just love the way they stream. They are people that I wish I could be closer to, but our, our universes don't really line up. 39 death, Jerma 985, Soda Poppin. I love those three. I think they're funny as fuck. I think the way they, they look at streaming and the way they handle it is really poggers. What do you think is the first step to developing an indie game? Uh, just make the game, forehead. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, I have such a beautiful flank by accident? No looking back. What an engage, Albert! Box, box, dang! Oh my god, and then he presses Q, and then he autos, and then he autos, and then he autos, and then he presses E, and then he stuns? He's so insane! And then he lives? Double kill? Maybe even a triple? No, he got the kill stolen, but that's okay because he appreciates his team? Oh my god, from having a casual conversation to that, the streamer is insane! He's promoting a code for G Fuel that's 30% off and it ends today? A great way to support the content creator that just made out that incredibly impressive play- Holy shit! While talking! Oh, this is so sad. I didn't use my stopwatch, and now I have to upgrade to GA. It's probably still worth it though. Not dying is like a very, very big plus. 
when you think about it, what lets players come back from a losing game? It is snowballing and getting the shutdowns. So GA is just an item that makes it incredibly hard for them to get my shutdown. I have to like really fuck up to die with GA. I have to like die so hard that not even like a Thresh can get to me with additional three seconds. Why are you on a Smurf box box? Why am I on a Smurf? Do you see how long it took me to find a game on my Diamond 4 Smurf that is actually Diamond 1? Imagine how long it would take me to find a game on my main account. I I, I want to play high level League of Legends, but I also want to make sure my viewers don't fall asleep before I find the, get the high level League of Legends. Because contrary to popular belief, I actually do care about my viewers. Why did you flash? What? Oh shit, uh, I'm not there. But you guys are winning, so it's fine. I mean, I don't blame the enemy team for that. They kind of had to try it, because if we get the soul, we basically win the game. All right, now we basically win. Like, something that pisses me off is teams that don't understand like the basic macro flow. We are winning. Yes, Kale outscales us. But if we get the Infernal Soul with this lead, you could say there's like a 0.1% chance that we throw this game. So like, it pisses me off that when we're on the losing side and we're in a game where it's like, okay, if they get the soul, they win. So we should just like fight as if this is the final fight. Some people don't get that. They're like, oh, I don't want to die. So I'm not going to go in. And they just like, they just let the game, like they just let the rest of the people who understand the circumstances go in, die, and then they get soul, and then, like, okay, now the game's over for sure. You should take, like, the 1% chance you can win the, the soul fight, then just sit there, and then have a 0.1% chance of winning after the soul has been acquired.